Hello everyone and welcome again to SAP Growth Podcast with another new guest. So in this episode we will delve into the dynamic world of SAP and IT training with our featured guest and my friend of course Nikhil D Shinde a seasoned SAP technical consultant and trainer. With over 13 years of experience, Nikhil shares insights into his journey, highlighting key projects, roles, and responsibilities from SAP ABAP to Fury, S4 HANA, and beyond. So, to discover the intricate details of his expertise, let's join as we explore the evolving landscape of IT training, corporate engagement, and vision for continuous growth in this edtech sector. So our today's topic is SAP technical module with Nikhil Deshinde. Let's welcome. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. After after it feels like eons uh, after communicating and everything. Finally, we are here. We made it. <laughs> so so how are you, Nikhil? Tell me. Like you've been talking yeah. about some traveling stories. So tell me. Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, uh, first of all. Uh, I'm being sorry for the all the glitch and all this stuff. <laughs> okay, because we are trying from the December, January. Now February is yeah. gone. Now we are going to connect. We Fine. did it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we, did. we are connected. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so tell me how how is your life looking like right now? How's how's the things at your play at your end and everything? So if you tell us a little yeah, bit. Yeah, actually, that. Uh, those uh, past two months I was traveling and uh, busy with the uh, meetings and busy with trainings and all. Yeah. yeah right. So now right. we are connected to finally. So finally, talk about technical module. All right, Nikhil. So uh, as I as I as I introduced you to the audience and. Uh, uh, so going forward, we are now. I'm going to ask you some questions, and uh, you need you just need to like you know answer as however you want, and yeah, we'll we'll have some fun right now. Okay, so yeah. I'll jump into the first question of our podcast: is what are the key components of SAP technical module? What do you think? Yeah, the technical module having the separate. Uh, there are so many modules, right? And these are the key components like uh, SAP Native Viewer, SAP Fury, SAP HANA, then Basis, Solution Manager. These are the technical modules. So these are the keys, for right. the key component for the SAP technical one. Okay. Right. And uh, these, key, uh, these key components are collectively facilitated to various technical concepts and uh, aspects of uh, the SAP systems. Yeah. Sure. Uh, from the programming uh, to customizing the SAP server software. So using this module, we can uh, administration the data, then we can manage the data. So basically, we call them uh, these are the key components. Okay, yeah. okay. so um, my next question goes, okay, how does SAP technical module integrate with other systems and technologies? What do you think? Yeah, that uh, SAP technical module uh, integrate with other systems. Uh, like uh, technology through the RFC and interfaces, yeah, various okay. interfaces I call. Yeah, yeah. like uh, uh, RFC means remote function call, which is a technique to connect one system to another system. So okay. RFC, yeah. So yeah. and uh, BAPIs is there, business application programming. Using that BAPI, we can connect one business to another business, and we can migrate the data. So these okay. are the technical integrated module system to uh, okay. connect with one system and SAP system to non SAP as well. These are the integrated one. Yeah. All right. So, what are the primary programming languages used in SAP technical model? Oh, uh, basically, I will go with the Java. Java is there. Java, yeah. right? Actually, yeah. basically, the SAP ABAP it's a combination of all languages: C, C++, yeah. Java, .NET. All the programming languages are there. But uh, right. Java is a major one. And Java is okay. the uh, king of uh, yeah. technical knowledge. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. And uh, for the web-based uh, web-based language like uh, JavaScript is there, and uh, mm -hmm. for the one UFI in our app, uh, in SAP will use a UFI user interface file for the web page right. and all. Yeah. So, can you discuss some common challenges faced when implementing SAP Technicals module and how to overcome them? Like, give me an example of what the challenge and how, what is the solution of that challenge, if you can. Tell me like that. Yeah, common challenges when implementing SAP technical uh, that is uh, data migration issues, 
then uh, complexity of that uh, your data one and uh, overcoming these challenges require careful planning right yeah and uh, testing through that uh, testing and uh, leveraging the all this best practices and expertise yeah right. because uh, whenever we are going to con uh, customize the sap server and all these one now will uh, face so many uh, exception we'll uh, we'll call them like uh, big bug yeah these are the base, uh, major conflicts the, at the time of data migration at the time of uh, customizing uh, conflicts at the time of overcome uh, that all these issues now uh, yeah totally headaches <laughs> 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 you, how do you overcome them like if i understood them, the data migration and others what you said is a yeah, challenge the best, how do you overcome yeah. that is a one word only best practices and best planning for the overcome all these uh, testing and all, all these conflict yeah correct okay all right so i'm jumping to the next then um what are the best practices for customizing and extending sap technical module to meet specific business requirements uh basically business requirement that means so uh, yeah customizing and extending the sap technical module yeah uh, okay. so um, involve the ahead of uh, sap recommended with uh, uh, reusable commands yeah okay. reusable commands means uh, documenting of that uh, uh, change and uh, documenting of that uh, client requirement all this one yeah so uh, using that regular testing okay whenever client uh, client give that requirement okay so that time uh, we have to combine and we have to make a one blueprint for that uh, right. planned and yeah for the planning and all so right. for to complete this one we have to practice we have to test the configuration we have to ensure about the stability and compatibility about that requirement so okay. these are the one best practices yeah okay. all right so um how does sap technical module support data management and data migration activities then uh, through uh, tools like uh, sap data services to data manage and support the data and migration uh, that would that first question uh, the first question answer was there now to migrate the data from one sap to another sap yeah okay. so this okay. is a major role of the sap one to migrate one now uh, every companies are going to migrate in hana right they are using the yeah. ecc one right, right. so right. these are the major role of that uh, slt slt is there sap landscape transformation yeah and uh, information uh, about the steward uh, these tools facilitate the data extraction right okay. also transformation these tool uh, and uh, and of uh, uh, loading of that etl process okay, okay. and the uh, data assuring the data integrity uh, consistency of that during that uh, migration of that project we require the okay. consistency right yeah consistency is very much important so yeah. what are the security consideration when working with sap's technical module and how are they addressed what are like what are your uh, security about? considerations uh, in sap technical module uh, mm -hmm. like uh, module include the access control okay and authentication uh, authentication mechanism encryption of that uh, uh, sensitive data because uh, we require the authentication each and every transaction in sap is required the authorization right, right. so encryption of that sensitive of data and complex of regularity and uh, requirement like uh, gdpr yeah this one task and this is one uh, transaction is there operation is there gdpr so these are the address through a uh, user role okay yeah and uh, user role management uh, then uh, secure the authentication for that particular protocols and data encryption is there yeah these are the technique encryption techniques yeah to uh, security consideration yeah and one more last is that it's a uh, regular security audits it's regular a major security. one yeah okay. yeah so it is it is like it goes hand in hand like regular security audits and data uh, is like this this portion goes hand in hand that you're saying like without Correct. other thing doesn't function all right. all right 
Okay. Can you explain how SAP technical module contributes to enterprise level system monitoring and performance optimization? Uh, SAP, yeah, SAP technical model contributes to it uh, uh, to that enterprise level system monitoring and uh, performance and optimization uh, through the tools like SAP Solution Manager. Okay. Yeah, and uh, uh, which provide that solution manager, uh, which provide the monitoring of that uh, dashboard, then uh, performance of that uh, and uh, analysis of that uh, and uh, the dashboard, and then root or uh, root clause analysis. These are the uh, major role of the solution manager. So using the solution manager, we can uh, operate and uh, manage all these uh, performance, all the level uh, contribution, all the contribution of that solution manager, all the levels of that uh, each and every phases. Okay, that solution manager will manage all these things. And uh, one more uh, solution manager will uh, just, uh, ex major operation is system uh, performance and availability of that uh, data. Ensure the optimal systems. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, what role does SAP Technical Module play in the development and maintenance of the custom application within the SAP ecosystem? Yeah. Yeah. SAP Technical Modules. Uh, yeah. Module uh, plays a crucial role. Yeah. Uh, in the development and maintenance of the custom applications. Yeah. Uh, within the SAP uh, ecosystem by providing the robust uh, development, okay, mm -hmm. uh, uh, framework, tools, and uh, then uh, uh, libraries such as uh, ABAP, uh, ABAP having separate uh, tool, like ADT, ABAP ADT. development tools, okay, right. then SAP UFI use there, then uh, mm -hmm. SAP uh, cloud platform, SDK, yeah, oh, SDK. Yeah. yeah, and SAP BTP is there. Mm -hmm. Business uh, business technology platform. Right. All right. So these are the uh, main tools that have been used in the SAP ecosystem for now. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Now, I'm going to the last question of all. And uh, this is like, how does SAP technical model support cloud integration and uh, deployment strategies of modern enterprises? I think everything is uh, shifting to cloud. Uh, everything so. correct yeah correct uh, that modern enterprises uh, through the offering like sap cloud platform mm -hmm. uh, which provides the services for uh, application development integration deployment right in the cloud right so integration and uh, deployment in the cloud that means integration technologies like uh, sap cloud platform uh, integration we call it a cpi right? cloud platform integration technology and uh, integration technology uh, enables a seamless connectivity between uh, on premises okay and cloud based uh, system and facility with hybrid cloud uh, scenarios all right so so uh, nikhil like the the interview was really short and the podcast this, this podcast was really <laughs> short so i would like to know one more last thing that uh, what is the future of a technical module expert in SAP world? Like, if you can tell, uh, as you are an SAP expert yourself uh, and technical module expert specifically, so what are the advantages does a, a SAP technical module expert has in the SAP ecosystem as a career? So, if you can tell me about it. SAP technical module, uh, basically the technical module and the so many modules like ABAP is the CPP and uh, all that uh, UFI, Fury, each and every sector have the separate. Like for the web designing, UFI is there. Okay, so for the future growth, it's a good platform and uh, good technology for the future growth. Okay, right. and one more is there. Uh, right now, the we are dealing with the ABAP D certification, cloud backend development. Right, mm -hmm. we are having various certification in the technical one. So right. there is one certification called as ABAP Black and Backend Cloud, right? Okay. A developer. It's combination of all modules. Like say, Fury is there, UFI is there, right? ABAP is there. It's a combination of all modules. So my uh, suggestion, you can say, uh, and my suggestion is there, uh, go with the cloud one now okay. because future is uh, the cloud is a yeah. Okay, so whenever and, you want to switch in, non-engineering background people can also opt for this. Non-engineering background, uh, yeah, they can opt, but uh, they have big challenge in SAP because they don't know about the language and all. 
so mm -hmm. how they can uh, type a code simple code is there so how they can manage all these code scenarios at all okay it's very tough it's to switch the technology so preferably people who have coding knowledge and preferably who are engineers and who has basic coding knowledge they can go for this particular source where they can in, enter and uh, how is how the life of a sap expert uh, you can tell like with, with your traveling yeah, plans of, including yeah actually one of my friend called the sap uh, stand for uh, suitcase and passport <laughs> Yeah, meaning that's of that great. SAP is the suitcase and passport. Yeah, that's, that's that's. I think I think audience will relate to it, and then they will probably start uh, looking for that how they can upskill themselves in SAP, and they can get benefited out of it with if they have, uh, you know, any in dreams to accomplish but re related to working in an industry like this. So thank you so much, Nikhil. It was lovely to have you, and I am hoping yeah. that. We'll meet again in person, and because <laughs> sure. week is nothing like three months. We've been emailing each other constantly, so emailing has been uh, like a like a friendly chat. It has turned out to be, but uh, I, I really had a great time with you, and I hope that you you too had a great time. So, if yeah, you have any last you. advice or snippets to the audience, you can give. Thank you. Yeah. So my advice is, uh, if you are thinking to switch any career in SAP technology, okay, so uh, please watch the podcast of Zaran Tech, yeah, because you will get a clearance of this each and every concept. Because I have gone through all the parts called podcast this one, okay, because uh, before scheduling our past podcast, okay, so you will get clear all the concept over there. Right. Yeah. And thank so you, and you have added, added to the list also. So thank you so thank much you. again. You have a wonderful day ahead and uh, all the very best. Thank you so much. Bye. You.